Okay, so, so what is the uh, what are we looking at here today? So this is where we can get to the expandability and scalability of our 17-inch notebook. You can see here we've got two DIMMs, another two DIMMs under the keyboard. The lid gives us that 32 gig of RAM. We also have a Z Turbo Drive, 256 gig solid state, connected straight to the motherboard. Then we get to our, our standard expandability with our small form factor drives into up to one terabytes. So you can start with having solid state plus two extra. At the moment, you don't, as HP don't offer the two terabyte, two point five inch drive. Or Not at the moment. Okay. No. Um, so plus, you could then go into a fourth hard drive if you remove. remove so we're looking at drive. here. So we're looking at three two point five drives plus an M two SSD on Correct. this unit, and this is in a fifteen inch form factor. This is a seventeen inch. Seven inch form factor. Yep, the ZBook 7. And how does the 17 inch differ to the 15 in terms of the storage options? You just remove one of the extra powers. Uh, one of the extra, you've only got a single. Single 2.5 bay, yeah. okay. So you just, alright. And the, the, um, this one, what graphics are we looking at this model here? This one's got the K5100M, which is an 8 gig graphics card. 8 gig. And let's have a look at the screen. Screen, then, so just so my readers can be uh, uh, clear, the, all the HP mobile we Z workstations all have this uh, modular quick removal style design. Absolutely, even down to our 14-inch model. So if, say in the future, hypothetically offered, say, an ultra-book form factor, would that also be a mo so modular slash upgradable... Yeah, that's a 14. So let's say if hypothetically there was a 13 or 12 because they belong to that product class, would they also be... Probably not be... in a 13 or 12 because you wouldn't be able to fit the professional graphics card on right. that type of solution. I'm only guessing there, but again, our 14-inch Z-Book, you still have that scalability to be able to upgrade. This has a 120 gig solid state plus a 1 terabyte drive. And obviously, because it's a professional unit, obviously the, all the, the battery and all these, all these components, all modular components that yep. the user can order and do field... Uh, Fields yep. upgrade Absolutely. or fields uh, replacement. Yep. Um. Does the 14 all this is, has a backlit key, so the 14 has the backlit as well? Yep, absolutely. Premiere Pro running. This is our dream color panel with up to a billion colors. What really strikes out is the quality of the uh, picture, but also the really wide viewing angles. You're able to collaborate around the system, being able to view from many angles. Um, John, do you want to go into sort of the full res of your sure. Ultra HD? Um, so the screen lineup for your, the this uh, release the of the um, Z series the Rubbish workstation, Rubbish. looking at full HD and QHD. That's right. 17 inch has full HD Dream Color. The 15 inch has QHD. Come on, you're gonna go off. Can the end user calibrate these screens if they need to calibrate them with an external calibration system? They can indeed. And this is a 6K footage, do you say, John? Uh, yeah. Oh, hang on. That's actually the 6K, but it's actually in um, uh, 1080 timeline, so yep. I'll just do a match frame. And then this here is... that's the 6K. So you're running 6K from a red camera, red dragon camera. Red dragon, yep. Now, if we turn that from an angle, you can really see the quality of the, the screen. Yeah, the, the quality of the, the color. The cream doesn't turn grey; it Absolutely. stays the right shade. Now, this is right. Now, we have to remind people this is running off the battery. There's no wires or anything. No. Now, let's see how much battery is left in just to. And this has been running all day. So, you've been demonstrating this different media all day, has it? Uh, well, it's been yeah, it's been running all day. So let's see. There should be still some left in it. Got eighteen percent. Yep, so that's not too bad considering you've been running since the morning and it's all been, what has it been doing. It's been rendering three D graphics and six K video and yep, all that sort of thing. Running Creative uh, Cloud 14, uh, 14 .1. And does HP have like some sort of recommended battery life for these sorts of professional units, or is it just? I'd have to check because it's going to depend on the software that you're running, um, okay. and the conditions you're running them in. There's lots of different specs and settings for uh, battery, so it's one of those things that can be uh, very dependent on the user's supply. Okay. And the, what's the availability of these different ones? So All available now. All available now. Yep. And including so including the, the solid state drive option here. So, so this is our Z Turbo drive. It allows to go be a PCI Express uh, solid state drive. 
for all of our desktop options. And they're also available now either in 256 or 512 gig. And the end users that have to get this option as is, they can't just get the card from you and they supply their own SSD? Uh, no, you'd still have to get the full solution from us. Okay. And that is available on even the i3, i7 mainstream style yep. workstation, so that's across the line. And that's in this notebook we just looked at, is it? Absolutely. So you can see there, that's the 256 gig solid state. Okay. And that's a stand solid state is not standard across the line, is it? Uh, it's customizable. All of our systems are completely customizable. Um, and you can customize with either solid states or... Uh, MSATA solid states or standard SATA drives.